Jabani. I'm director of the Neighborhood Creative Arts Center, and this is Nature Fest. It's the most wonderful event of the year for us. We get to work with the best people and the most awesome organizations. So I'm going to show you around to meet some of our partners who are showing us the beauties of the world. So here we have the Nanjimwai Environmental Education Center and they are teaching the children about reptiles. So if you can see over here, we've got a beautiful snake out. Is he cold or is he hot? What you're sharing with us today? Hi, I'm Keith from Fred Recycling Contract Manager for Charles County Environmental Resources, and uh, a little bit about basically our recycling program here in Charles County, and some materials, maybe materials that are made from recycled materials, and um, also help people understand about composting, reducing your solid waste, and perhaps we can get involved in our events. Cold nectar from or frames from a couple of colonies. So it takes a lot of forage. And here we have these bees. And she's sharing about beehives and teaching people how to do it. So let me see if I can get in. Hi there, I'm Diane Wellens from D's L Town Bees. And I'm a master beekeeper. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the honeybee. They're just super fantastic little creatures. Absolutely fantastic. Pollination for food resources, for direct resources for a lot of our nuts and berries and the foods that we eat every day. Things that we want to go out and farm in our gardens. Uh, Thank you. Welcome. I'm really, really glad you're here. Yay. This has been fun. It's been fun to be able to show. Uh, so we're here today doing pollinator education activities um, with 4-H and the Interact Club. Uh, we're trying to educate the public on the plight of pollinators and increasing more habitat and increasing more wildflowers for them to access. Okay, awesome. Thank you. This is Rebecca and she's looking after our animals. You want to share what we've got? Um, today we have a hedgehog. Her name's Petunia. She's staying in her house today. We have a crested gecko who is currently being held. And his name's Elvis. And then we have a yellow and red chickens. That's awesome. Thank you. And over here we have crafts, nature crafts, to help us appreciate the beauty of bark and acorns and chestnuts and these gumballs and shells that are from um, nearby parks. Just an opportunity to make mobiles and to make collages and enjoy the beauties of nature. And then over here we have the amazing master gardeners who always make our events so fantastic. Well, my name is Tina. I'm a master gardener since 2014 and we had some fun here today with the children by teaching them how to grow a bean in a cup and they scooped out their own dirt in a little plastic cup, chose a magic bean, which was very exciting for many of them, <laughs> pushed it down a little bit into the dirt, watered it and sealed it with a cup and gave them instructions how to care for it and how to keep the data once the bean starts growing. And it is actually a bush bean, so I explained to the parents that they can use it in their garden or on a deck or on a balcony if they don't have a garden and put it in a container and it will still grow beans. Oh, that's exciting. And then we also have the uh, self-watering planters that were given to the people in the kit already with the dirt, with the string, with all the ingredients that you need to make a self-watering planter. And we have wow. one example here, which shows how this is oh, that's awesome. watering itself in a recycled Coke bottle and uh, without trying to make commercial here for Coke, that's what it was. And you can see that the zinnias are growing very healthy. Thriving, yeah. And not thriving. And then I'll turn you over to the next table. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank 
Well, I'm Mary Ellen Howard, Master Gardener for Charles County, and um, a few years ago I went to the plant sale that they had at um, the Play the Farmer's Market, and I was so intrigued, and some of these ladies were there, and they taught me so much that I signed up to become a Master Gardener myself. Oh, wow. So I grew a bunch of tomatoes, and um, well, they're gone now, but we brought uh, tomato plants to give away and just teach everybody about growing your own food. So. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. To the vermicomposting, <laughs> we're going to introduce so Pat, Pat, who taught everybody about vermicomposting. Hi. Well, these little guys here are kind of small. Zoom up on me. We've actually been uh, collecting what they made. Hey, Pat, how you doing? Hey. And this is casting. They've spent a lot of time in that bin that I have making wonderful compost for our plants. Um, and what they eat, but this is black gold. It doesn't look like that nasty sand. It has all your nutrients. Because of these little guys. Awesome, thank you so much. This is fascinating. Thank you. All right, two of the most important people here. We have Sharon Robbie and John Sullins, and we're telling people a little bit about what we do at Nature Fest. This year at Nature Fest, I came representing the, the Humane Society of Charles County, and I brought my friends who happen to be goats and a couple of other friends who happen to be rabbits so that the children could have some live animal interaction and learn about what we do at the Humane Society and about our summer camps. Thank you. And I'm John Sullins, and I work for Nanjimoo Creek Environmental Education Center. And what we did today at Nature Fest was bring four raptors here. We told everyone about the raptors and answered their questions and told them fun facts and had a lot of fun. Thank you. You were a hit. I told them. So before we go, we can't forget to thank our sponsors. There's some people that have been so generous. In particular, the Maryland Agriculture Education Fund has helped support this venture along with the Chesapeake Bay Trust and of course all the organizations that are here. And the 4-H um, was um, partnering with Corteva who helped give a pollinator grant to help us do pass out the kits that we did here. And these are some of our other sponsors the Maryland State Arts Council, the Charles County Arts Alliance, the Master Gardener, who do so much work with the University of Maryland, the 4-H, as I mentioned, the Watershed Protection and Restoration Department of Charles County, and, um, and of course, I think the rest of them are here on this sheet, the Foster's Grill, and the Seed Ball, who gave us seeds for today. So thank you so much for virtually visiting our Nature Fest, and we hope that you'll come and join us next year. Thank you.